I'm back with another five studio must-haves that I've been enjoying this time during lockdown 2020. First up is a canvas sheet. I buy Frederick's canvas sheets that come in a pad and I like to work with a 16 by 20 inch size. The reason I like working on these rather than a stretched canvas is because I'm out of space. They are very easy to store and they're really easy to transport if you go to a client's to show art or if you're at an art fair. I store the canvas sheets once they're complete in cello bags that I found online with hard uh, mat board backing so that customers can cruise through them to find art that they're looking for. When you're working on a canvas sheet, you can use painter's tape to tape a border around the canvas and tape them onto one of these um, inexpensive drawing boards. That way you can move them around the studio. So you can see when you're finished painting on the canvas sheet, you can ship it in the cello bag flat or you can roll it up and ship it in a tube. To hang this, I would use mat board and a frame to give it a classic look. I love that these are actually canvas sheets. My next must have is a large palette sheet. When I first started painting, I used paper plates, uh, small palette sheets, anything I can get my hands on, but I felt really free and I was able to mix a lot more paint at once to, when I, because I mix custom colors by using a 16 by 20 disposable painting sheet. These are really inexpensive and I like to keep them after they're full of paint because I can peel the paint off and use them as skins in my artwork. All of these products are paid for by me. I am not receiving any paid sponsorship for any of these mentions. Next up from Barbati.com are these rubber scraping brushes. I really like these to add texture and to smooth paint on my surface. They come in a variety of sizes. These two are my most favorite tools right now. Next up, my must-haves are three newish colors from Golden Heavy Bodied Acrylics. I have Titan Green Pale, Titan Violet Pale, and Tar Titan Mars Pale. Mixing paint colors with either one of these provides really nice variety to the shades that we love from Golden. You can see here using the same colors that the variety is really nice. And I recommend that you test your colors when you're mixing on plain um, paper like this, but also on top of a text page so that you can test the opacity in your paint. I'm artist and author Julie Pritchard. For more information or to ask me questions directly regarding these products, please visit me at juliepritchard.com. I also have a large variety of online workshops that are open every day, and I'm here to help. See you soon. Thanks for watching.